Praying for Others in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. With all prayer and petition, pray at all times. In the spirit and with this in view, be on alert with all perseverance and petition for all the saints. God wants you to look beyond your own problems and pray for the needs of others. The great preacher D. Martin Lloyd-Jones wrote, before the outbreak of the Spanish Civil War in Barcelona, Madrid, and other places, there were psychological clinics with large numbers of neurotics undergoing drug treatments and others attending regularly for psychoanalysis. They had their personal problems, their worries, their anxieties, their temptations, having to go back week after week, month after month, to the clinics in order to be kept going. Then came the Civil War, and one of the first and most striking effects of that war was that it was virtually emptied, the psychological and the psychiatric clinics. These neurotic people were suddenly cured by a greater anxiety, the anxiety about their whole position, whether their homes would still be there, whether their husbands would still be alive, whether their children would be killed. Their greater anxieties got rid of the lesser ones. In having to give attention to the bigger problem, they forgot their own personal and somewhat petty problems. The Christian soldier, an exposition of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 20. Grand Rapids, Baker, 1978, page 357. That's a negative illustration of a positive principle. Your own problems pale as you pray in the spirit on behalf of others. Praying in the spirit, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, is praying in concert with the Holy Spirit, in harmony with his person and will. It's synonymous with praying according to God's will. Found in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. As the Holy Spirit intercedes for you, found in Romans chapter 8, verse 26 through 27, you are to intercede for others. That's not always easy in our contemporary religious environment where self-centeredness is praised rather than shunned. And more and more professing Christians are embracing the health, wealth, and prosperity. But God's mandate is for us to love one another, pray for one another, and look out for one another's interests. Found in Philippines chapter 2, verse 3 through 4. Let that mandate govern all your relationships. Make a list of people you want to intercede for. Spend time praying for each person. Asking God to show you specific ways to minister to his or her needs. Amen. God bless you. Until next time.